uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back so here we are going to use serverless offline so that we can also spin up the lambda and we can test all these lambdas integrated with the dynamo db okay so we have created this configuration the remaining part we have is currently the resources right so resource here is the the we are using uh, dynamo db so let's add a resources inside this we will create uh, resources these are actually cloud formation resources we are creating and inside resources our dynamo db table name DynamoDB table and here we will specify and here we will specify the type okay type is AWS the resource type so this is what we write in the cloud formation don't get confused this is not the syntax of the serverless and deletion policy deletion policy is retain and other than that you just specify the properties let me just check if i'm writing correctly properties inside properties we will specify okay what is the dynamo db table right it will have one key which is the primary key partition key rest all you can push whatever you want right so inside the properties we are going to define everything like the provisioned throughput attribute definition which is like key right rest you can actually we can push any kind of data and the table name we can populate this based on the dynamo db table which we already have here you can see the dynamo db table variable name and now to run this dynamo db uh, locally we just provide a custom configuration so that whenever we are doing a serverless offline start we should be able to see the dynamo db server started so this is the custom dynamo db table for this particular stage and we are running this right another important thing in the package.json you might have seen serverless dynamo db local this is the plugin we are using so if i do serverless offline start after doing npm install let's just check that out so i was running this uh, dynamo db locally so you have to execute one more command and that is sls dynamo db install okay so here we are starting up let me just show you that readme file where you are looking at this okay sls dynamo db install this will install dynamo db on your project so you can see this particular directory you will be able to see then only and then when you do serverless offline start make sure that nothing else is running on port 8000 because i see is uh, i was running this 8000 port was occupied that and this process was not returning error properly i mean you will get confused what is happening then i kill that process and then here i can see when i do serverless offline start or npm run start so this is sls dynamo db installed and then finally after getting this fixing the port issue i'm able to run this and this is the output serverless offline start and it has exposed these all endpoints you can see these are the offline functions which we can test on to this particular port this starting offline this is the and the dynamo db table we have put as a test okay and this is exposed on port 3002 and these are our endpoints dev to do's because the stage name is dev right which we have provided in the serverless.yml and then to do.id, to do.get, put, post, delete. Okay, so everything is exposed. Now, what we are going to do is let's see, um, I mean, what code we are going to write in this. Here also, we have to check if we are running this locally, then we have to point our Dynamo DB to the local, which is running on port 8000. If we are running on the actual environment, then we have to use the AWS DynamoDB environment, okay? So for that, we will create uh, one Lambda. I mean, let's talk about add.js. And I will write the code here, like what all code we are writing in the Lambda to execute this. 
So first of all, we have to get the DynamoDB instance and uh, AWS SDK also that you have to install in your package.json, right? So here in add.js, let's say UID just to get the unique ID generator. Now, next thing is const AWS SDK, we can require it. Okay, now we can actually get the DynamoDB. DB client from this AWS.Dynamo. We do it like DynamoDB dot document client. I mean, for the Python, there would be a different code to access the DynamoDB client. Now, all different queries we can do on the DynamoDB instance. Okay, so our function is module dot exports exports dot create. Okay, and what typically Lambda function takes event context and callback. Callback. These are the argument for any lambda, right? Here we are writing this, we can also use a sync for this. Okay, now what we are doing here is we are going to create something, right? Like it can be update, it can be delete, it can be create, right? So here we will just get, okay, we are going to get something in the event and based on that, we are going to pass the data. First of all, we will check, okay, if the body is empty or not, if body is empty, then we will just say, okay, you cannot create a, the to-do item bad request or we will create the params. Okay, first of all, how to deal with, how to actually read, write, scan, how to perform the operation on DynamoDB. It is very simple. It has actually fixed syntax. What we need to do is we need to build the params context. Const param, which will take two argument. Okay, one is your table name. Table name you can get from the process dot env dot tape dynamo table. This is the environment variable, so you can have a dot env file, populate it all, all there. And this is the item. This is the object which you are going to insert in the dynamo db table. So I will have id. Id will be simple, you can say uuid dot v1 and rest all things like which you are getting from the data and how we are getting data is we are getting this data from the event event dot body we can add the validation that data should not be empty blah 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 so json dot parse we got the data and data dot text here we are actually constructing the body so that we can actually create okay some comma is missing here item text we can add the other things like create a date, update a date and all. So for that we can have to create a timestamp. We can have another variable and we can add create a date is timestamp is also timestamp. Okay. Now we have created this params object. Simple thing is write this to do write these params to the database. So we already got the DynamoDB client. So DynamoDB dot. So here we have to write the magic. Let's say put. We'll pass params. And this is the error callback. If we are getting error, then something is wrong. Otherwise, everything is good. We are able to create this. We can do console.log error and callback inside a callback. If we are getting this, then data is null. Right, and we will just return an object which will say status code, a which will get from the error status code. Okay, otherwise just put 500 if you're not getting it and then some message and body and something like that. You can customize this because this is what we are returning to the client. 
internal error blah 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 okay and we just return from there right this is like when the error is happening otherwise what we will do is we will build the proper response right okay everything is fine we are happy and just return the callback with some data if there is no error let me just format this we will construct a response with everything is fine and then we will just return the callback right so this is how we are actually creating the data in the DynamoDB now rest all other operations like get, get by id, update, delete, get all we can actually go through them I will write the code like how we are doing it but this is how we access the DynamoDB in Node.js now you might be writing some other application where you are accessing the DynamoDB or any other AWS resources we will get the client object, it can be SNS, it can be SQS, it can be DynamoDB and then we will have these utility methods like put, uh, put, get, scan, scan, all these methods are there so we will just execute them, okay? The only thing is we are running this on the Lambda and Lambda already have access to the DynamoDB so we will not get any trouble here, okay? Uh, thanks everyone.